One of the things I enjoy about my job and coming here every day is I usually get here early when it's nice and quiet before the phones start ringing. And I go into my office and I get set up. And a little bit later, I'll come out of my office and the first thing I'm greeted with is all the smiling faces of the rest of the staff. And it's enjoyable to just mingle and, and greet with them. And that kind of attitude shows with our clientele and the support that we give to our teachers. And I think they appreciate it as well. She has so many people who feel that she is such the consummate expert in her field. She approaches her work with uh, passion and dedication. Uh, she's one of the state, statewide leading experts in the field of credentialing in California. Well, we can see Sharon's passion for um, the job and the work that she does and basically everything that she does. Training is one of my favorite parts of my job because I get to used to go out and visit at the other districts and train the credential advisors on the induction information that they needed for their candidates. But now we use technology and most of our trainings are done through webinars. So we don't see their faces, but we get to see the emojis that they post. She always makes sure she um, finds the best um, solutions that are fair, that are just, and she wants to do what's right for the teacher. So it's never about her emotions or, you know, her own personal goals and what she wants to do, but she always just wants to, you can see she wants to do what's best for um, the program and what's best for the, the teachers that we work with. I've had a long career in education, about 33 years, and usually I'm on the five-year plan. After five years, I change and I do something different because I enjoy learning things that are different. But I've been in this position for 15 years, and I can say that every year I've learned something different. So there was no need to leave because I was constantly growing and learning new things. Sharon, without question, is so deserving of this recognition. She's an extraordinary leader and role model for RCOE's core values and mission. Oftentimes, uh, there are challenges in credentialing, and we'll have um, specific cases where we think that somebody can't do something or the answer to their, to their need is no. And since she's been doing this for 15 years, she has that historical knowledge. So she can tell you how that requirement came about, um, what exactly she needs to do, all the resources. The teachers, after they finish talking to her, they feel more at ease to finish what they need to do. She's in credentialing, but she doesn't hold a credential. But she's probably one of the best teachers I've ever encountered in my career as an educator. She demonstrates the highest level of ethics, integrity, professionalism, and expertise in the work that she does.